This example problem involves force and change of uh, linear momentum and conservation of momentum. So those principles uh, will be applied here. We have two people, person A, person B. Person A, 83 kilograms of mass. Person B, 50 kilograms of mass. They're standing near each other at rest and they're on frictionless ice. They're going to reach out their arms and push, push against each other with a constant force. And they maintain that force uh, on each other for 1.2 seconds. After they separate, we are given that person A is moving to the left at 0.8 meters per second. And we want to know the uh, value of the force. Well, the force has caused a change in the momentum for person A. And we can say that this force, and we're taking it as constant, equals the change in momentum over change of time. The change in momentum would be the momentum final, mass times velocity final, minus momentum initial, mass times velocity of initial. So let's go ahead and uh, it perhaps useful to make a little sketch of what's happening here, A and B pushing on each other. After they separate, person A is going to the left at the given velocity. So let's go ahead and put in the numbers. Uh, 83 kilograms for person A. Taking to the left to be the negative uh, direction and working this with positive off to the right, then the velocity for person A at final is minus 0.8 meters per second. Person A was at rest initially, so the initial momentum is zero. And this push was for 1.2 seconds. Use your calculator and uh, verify that uh, you get a force of negative 55.3 newtons. The negative indicating the force on person A is to the left. So not too complicated. What about the uh, velocity of person B? What is the velocity of person B? Well, the force on person A has the same size as the force on person B. This is a Newton's third law situation. These are pairs of forces. Force on A is the same size as the force on B. They're just in opposite directions. So the force on B is a positive 55.3, positive meaning off to the right. And we can again use this principle or this relationship. Force causes a change in the momentum. Force delta T, if I multiply both sides by delta T then, would be MV final minus MV initial. And we have the force number from part A. We still have 1.2 seconds. The force acts on person A for 1.2 seconds. The force acts on person B for 1.2 seconds. And these are, these are two separate forces. The force of B on A, that's minus 55.3 newtons. The force of A on B, that's plus 55.3 newtons. The contact lasts for 1.2 seconds, so that's still the uh, delta T. For person B, we have 50 kilograms of mass, and then V final. And again, person B was at rest before this. So use your calculator, and you should come up with uh, the V final of 1.33 meters per second. So is there another way to solve this problem? Um, after part A. Is there another way to solve the problem for for part B? And the answer is yes. You can use conservation momentum. Now, I'm not going to go through the uh, the details here, but the principle is that we have zero momentum to start with and momentum final equals momentum initial. The momentum final would be mass of person A, velocity of person A, and then plus mass of person B, velocity of person B, both of these velocities are after the event takes place. And both um, persons have velocity of zero before. So the initial momentum is zero. So you have mass of person A. The velocity of person A is a negative number. The velocity of person B will be a positive number. And these two will add up to zero, but you could use this put in the known masses, put in velocity A from the first part, and you'd get the same number here for velocity of part B. So that would be using conservation momentum. So if you have more uh, 
questions about physics and astronomy, uh, you can watch some of my other videos at these two websites, uh, physics.gpclements.com. This website's free. There's nothing to register. You can just see a list of the videos. Uh, uh, the videos are have a title, a certain number of minutes that they uh, will last, and give a little description of each one. And if you uh, enjoy these YouTube videos, please register, put your subscribe to my YouTube channel.